Hey, hey, Scorpio, intuitive soul coach here with your October 2022 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Scorpio and take a look at all things related to abundance, money, wealth, career, and finances. So just a friendly reminder, these are general readings. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading, you can find that link in the description box below. And wow, do you have some things going on for you, Scorpio? So in the area of the past, we have the feather card showing up here for you. This is about abundance. It's about aligning with that energy of working smarter, not harder, easier money here. There may have been divine intervention that had happened or something may have occurred, whether that wheel of fortune type energy or even sometimes the tower comes in to start from the ground up, start from a scratch where you can rebuild a solid foundation for yourself. A lot of times this can also be about you doing spiritual work, you aligning with that energy of abundance. Some of you may have recently traveled as well, or you may be saving up to travel. Some of you, it could be undecided on how to move forward, but I feel like you are working with the divine. You're working with spirit here. And some of you are light workers, Scorpio, whether it's something you do on a professional level or you are you know, a healer where you are navigating towards doing something that really enlightens you, really brings about your spiritual side. In the present moment, which I'm not sure if you've seen that little dance that this card did here, we have the nugget. So I feel like there is, there's money coming your way here, and this is about a small increase. Now, some of you may be getting a raise, some of you a bonus in the month of October. For others of you, if you do have a business or you are an entrepreneur, you're going to take a good look at where your finances are going, what you are uh, putting in and what you're receiving. There's equal give and take I'm being shown here. Uh, there's also, I feel like, a gift from the universe where something's going to grow and expand. And there's that fresh start energy that we just talked about here. This is about steady work, career building, and getting really honest about where you want to go and where you want to be five years from now, 10 years from now, into retirement, uh, things of that nature. You're getting valuable information. Now, some of you may be speaking to a financial advisor. Some of you I just heard are speaking to an intuitive or a psychic as well uh, about direction and change that's coming in for you. But I am sensing here that you're getting really honest about what your heart wants. And some of you are finally taking that next step in your career where you're really aligned with that energy of abundance. And that's why you have career building here. Whether again, you do work for yourself or for someone else, you're ready to take that next step. Now, what do we have because of that next step? In the near future, you have the coins. This is beautiful. This is about money coming in. It is about wealth. The investments that you are making today are going to affect your future in a very positive way here, Scorpio. So you are making good investments, whether it's in real estate, whether it's cryptocurrency, whether you are refinancing. Uh, there could be an energy of you investing your time and your money into a business, into an idea, or you maybe uh, changing or your career at this time as well in the near future where you're actually going to be getting a raise. Now, some of you sales and finances in the near future is is on the agenda. You may be looking at selling or buying. You may be looking at where to put your money, where it can grow the most here. I feel like you're hitting a lucky break, Scorpio, something that you've been wanting to manifest. I feel like that's going to show up for you and you're going to feel quite good about the direction you're going in if you don't already. Now let's take a look and dive into your Celtic cross here and see where your energy is at for career in the month of October. Ace of air right away here. Ace of air. Ace of swords. This is about you having a major breakthrough moment. And this doesn't surprise me at all, Scorpio, because you certainly have new beginnings showing up here. New beginnings, new beginnings. And even though 
there is this energy of a fresh start. It doesn't mean that you're completely starting, you know, from the ground up, as I mentioned earlier, but I feel like it's you being able to build that foundation. And that's what I'm feeling. That's why I'm seeing that ground energy is because you're feeling more stable with what you are doing. You're feeling more stable within your finances because we did go through a major pandemic, a major economic uh, crisis when it comes to career and job and money. And some of you uh, are just now starting to to finally feel more stabilized. And this Ace of Swords energy is about clarity. It's about truth, logic. It's a brand new understanding of a situation that may have been challenging for you here. You're finding solutions, Scorpio, and you are breaking through the barriers of whichever hold you held you back in the past. And I feel it has to do with this divine intervention. It has to do with some sort of uh, help from the universe here. Now let's take a look and clarify what this Ace of Swords is for you. Four of Materials, yeah. Some of you, it was a health crisis. Some of you, it was, it was a, a financial crisis. The Four of Materials is the Four of Pentacles. And this is about you managing your, your resources, building that stability as well. Now, this Four of Pentacles can be about making sure you're not overspending, taking a look at where your finances are going. So your focus is on career. I mean, obviously you're watching the career reading here, but I feel like you're focused on building that stability. And that's what's happening here in the month of October for you. You have not either a new income source coming in or you're stepping into this, just a new energy where there is more money coming in for you. Maybe a small increase, uh, whether it's a small increase in money, whether it's a small increase in you know ideas, clients, I feel like you are more empowered. And I feel like after a desert period that maybe you've been through or after some struggles, I feel like you're finally again coming up on top, coming out on top. So I like this for you. Let's take a look, Scorpio, at anything crossing your energy in the month of October. What do we have for Scorpio? There it is. Oh, another four showing up for you. Four of cups. So double fours energy is all about structure. It's about planning, foundation, and stability. So when this four of emotion or four of cups shows up for you, this is about you taking a look at the opportunities that are in front of you. Because at times we feel frustrated or bored that things aren't happening or moving along as quickly as we'd like here. But I do sense that there is a new opportunity showing up for you. It's a small increase here, but it allows you to have this breakthrough moment, this fresh start that you want. You may be a little bit nervous to accept this position. That's kind of what I'm feeling here is you may be a little bit nervous to step up to that next tier or that next level because it does require a new mindset. A beginner's mindset is what I'm feeling here for you. And Scorpio, you will do just fine. You have what it takes. You are built for success here in this lifetime. So whatever this is, don't let the fears hold you back of, am I good enough? Do I have what it takes? Can I really build this business? Will they like me? Will I climb to the top? So don't let the would haves, the should haves, uh, or the, the fears or the... <clears throat> excuse me, the fears of the limitations hold you back from these new opportunities that are presenting themselves for you in the month of October. I feel like you're going to say yes anyway, but I'm just sensing that the embracing part may be a little bit challenging at times just because of those fears, but I feel like you'll push through them quite quickly. Let's take a look and clarify the four of cups, please. There it is, the death card. Yeah, beautiful. The death card is about you going through a transformation. Yeah, there was an ending here, possibly in the past, whether it was an ending of emotional turmoil, anxiety, stress, even fears, worries, but you're coming out on the other side here. You're able to finally spread your wings. That's what this new beginning is all about. That's what this feather energy was all about, divine intervention, even though it may still be a little bit uncertain because they're showing me the moon right now, even though it may feel uh, like things are unstable at times, you are growing and building this stability. And when this death card comes up, 
This can say, don't resist this change. Don't hang on to the old, the old way of thinking, the old job or the old you because you're shedding that skin, Scorpio. It's time for you to embrace what you are truly made of. And that's what I see the overall theme is for you in the month of October is embracing who you are at that core, not letting limitations, self, uh, the beliefs or letting anything hold you back any longer. Your time is now to shine. Let's see what's below you. What's the foundation here? Certainly could be the star. Uh, I feel like you are that star energy. I feel like you've been through a lot of healing. I feel like you will come out on top. Uh, they are partnerships. You want to feel like you are part of something, not just yourself. Uh, the two of water, two of cups here. This is about being a part of a group dynamic or being a part of a business or a company where there is mutual respect, where there's mutual give and take here, where you are being fairly compensated for the work that you put in. You want there to be that equal give and take where you don't feel like somebody's breathing over your shoulders or you're walking on eggshells or uh, somebody is going to uh, admonish you at any time here. And I feel like you are a good partner. You are, you are able to work well in that team environment. But for some of you, you've been in a solo environment for so long, you may be moving into a higher role where you will communicate more with people and that may make you nervous. But know that deep down, underneath it all, you are are able to communicate. Some of you may even be in communication. Uh, there could be new people onboarding as well, or you may need to train other people. And uh, now if you are a business owner, this could be about calling in or attracting the right clients that will help your business grow and that you can help. And there's that equal give and take here. So the two of cups underneath it all is about important partnerships, soul contracts, soul business contracts that'll help you grow, evolve, and build the wealth that you want for yourself, especially for your future. Let's take a look and clarify the two of cups, please, for Scorpio. What do we have? They just gave me the name Linda. Linda, if that is your name, or if it's somebody you work with, or it could be this partnership energy, please take it as it resonates. Linda. Seven of inspiration. This is just what I was talking about here. That seven of wands, not feeling like you need to walk on eggshells, not feeling the pressure from all angles or not feeling uh, like you're backed into a corner at times. The seven of wands is about defending yourself, standing up for your beliefs because you are brave. You're a warrior, Scorpio. This is about you going the distance and living life on your own terms. But at times you may feel controlled or you feel like, the crisis of the world or the things of that nature, financial, uh, financial instability going on may really be affecting you on that core level at times, but you have what it takes to plummet through that. You have what it takes to rise above and to attract and manifest the kind of wealth, abundance, and prosperity that you want for yourself. Don't let the limiting beliefs of you know anyone or anything uh, let you feel like you're not enough or lack of worthiness here. So seven of wands, you have what it takes to achieve major success here. I feel like more than you even know. Let's see what's happened in the past for you, Scorpio. What's happened in the past? Somebody may have just written with a pen and the pen ran out of ink. Uh, someone needs a new pen or uh, be aware of a pen that may run out of ink or you're thinking, oh, it, it, it runs out. I need to to get more ink because they're showing me somebody writing and then it just kind of stops here. Or maybe you were just writing and then you stopped writing. I'm not sure. Please take that as it resonates. But let's take a look at the past energy, Scorpio, and see how that past may still be affecting your present energy. When it comes to finances, career, abundance, seven of pentacles. Do you see what's happening here? You're getting repetitive numbers back to back, back to back. So this is about you double checking things as well, but paying attention to the signs, the synchronicities, and to the doubles. Double things are happening for you. For some of you, you may be in a two personal year or in a two personal month as well in October. If you're not sure about uh, how to calculate your personal year or month, you can certainly look that up online. Uh, but it, twos are all about choices, partnerships duality also it's about diversity but reflecting on what you need to and that actually allows you to move forward instead of staying stuck so the seven of pentacles in the past here does at times feel like something didn't work out or you may have felt rushed 
to make a decision or to complete something or you didn't feel that energy of should I stay, should I go, you weren't quite sure, you were feeling a little bit indecisive. So the seven of pentacles can be about you evaluating and you reflecting and wondering, am I going to reap the rewards of my hard work? Am I going to get this small increase, this, uh, this fresh start? Am I going to build my career, my business, my goals? And the answer to that is absolutely. But some of you are still reevaluating some of the investments that you've made a long time ago. And some of you are still trying to recover from some sort of debt, could be some sort of loss or refill that uh, the, the savings if you had any or some sort of uh, maybe even foreclosure or anything of that nature. You're just taking a look at your stability. I keep hearing that for you quite strong. Let's take a look. But you will reap the rewards. The seven of pentacles says you're taking a look at everything and seeing how you can bring about more abundance. Six of wands. One of my favorite cards here. Six of inspiration. This is about accomplishment. It is about achievement. For those of you that are looking for fame, for victory, for uh, public recognition as well, this is about you not being overlooked. You won't be overlooked here. This is about you achieving success. Even if you're not looking for fortune and fame, some of you just want to be recognized within your company or within your small group here. I feel like you want to be rewarded for a job well done. You want to be fairly compensated and you may be reevaluating if that is happening, uh, what else you can do, where else you can go from here. And you want a fresh start and I see you stepping to the next tier here. So let's see what's coming in for you, Scorpio. What's above you? What is above Scorpio for October, 2022? Eight of air. Eight of Swords energy. So the Eight of Swords, I feel like this is all about you releasing whatever burdens that you've been hanging on to because the Eight of Swords energy can be about letting go of an old story because you did feel trapped here. You felt stuck like you were going in a repetitive cycle or that your days were routine and you were just working to live. I feel like you're releasing the bondages that have kept you uh, captive here. For some of you, I call it golden handcuffs. And the golden can handcuffs can keep us at a job because it pays the bills or because it puts food on the table. And I feel like you are releasing yourself from either that job or that energy or even that mental story that you told yourself that you couldn't do this or uh, that that would never happen. That's kind of what I'm feeling for some of you is telling yourselves, well, I'm going to lose hope on these dreams or this may not happen the way that I thought it would because that didn't happen the way I thought it would. So the Eight of Swords is letting go of that belief of lack of or something won't happen and finally allowing yourself the freedom that you deserve to dream big. To really dream big, Scorpio. Let's see what's coming in for you. There it is. Ace of Cups. Double Ace in your energy here. This is beautiful. It allows you, once you release whatever stories, whatever beliefs, whatever you are telling yourself or whatever job, for some of you, it's a death of a situation here, a death of a job, an ending of some sort. So don't resist that change that's coming in. Divine intervention is at play in your life here. The Ace of Cups is about you finding something that really fills your cup, a gift of love, of inspiration, feeling like you are part of something greater than yourself, part of a company that has the, the best interest of others at heart, part of something here that your business can grow because you're helping people from this heart space. You're finally allowing yourself to be in that energy because sometimes we don't even realize, Scorpio, that we are in that energy until, you know, five, six, seven years down the road, we're saying, what are we doing with our lives? What are we doing every day? Going on this hamster wheel and spinning and spinning. And you're telling yourself, you've been doing some major evaluation and you're saying, what do I really want to do? What makes me happy? Am I on target with my goals? for retirement or for the next 10 years or whatever goals you have for yourself and you're letting go of what you thought uh, made you happy into what really actually does make you happy. So let's see what's showing up in the near future. We do have the five of fire, five of uh, fire is the five of wands here, which I like the five of wands. Uh, some people definitely think it's about those obstacles, those challenges, but I feel like it's about the different views. 
uh, as we were talking about earlier, diversity. It is about looking at the duality of the different things that you've overcome. Also, it is about collaborating, working together, feeling, if you currently feel left out, like everybody is doing their own thing or everybody may be out to get you at times or things are just not fair, with the five of swords, or excuse me, five of wands showing up here, I feel like you aren't letting criticism or competitiveness hold you back. You're not letting the viewpoints of others hold you back. If anything, you're using them as the catalyst to help you move forward and chase those dreams. Because the five of wands energy is about collaborating and you have that six of wands and I wouldn't feel that so strongly if it weren't for that six of wands showing up in the potential but the the six comes after the five here so you will achieve this success you will not let those obstacles get in your way and hold you back so if you felt discouraged because you didn't get the job that you thought you would or you felt discouraged because you thought you'd have a certain number of clients or a certain number on your bank account from your business at this time don't let that hold you back allow your to reevaluate what's working, what is not, and give yourself and the universe here some breathing room to really work its magic. What do we have here? Uh, Ten of Cups. That's why. Emotional wealth. Fulfillment. Uh, the Ten of Cups is a beautiful energy. And five and five equals 10. So that's why I'm not worried about this five showing up for you. This Ten of Cups is all about uh, serenity, good fortune. It's about being able to take maybe family vacations, work from anywhere in the world. The Ten of Cups is emotional wealth, deep, deep affection for what it is that you do, deep passion and love for what it is that you do, even though it may take a lot of work. It may feel competitive. It may feel like others may criticize you. You have what it takes to really build this up here and go the distance, go long term. If it's something that comes from that place of love, you will succeed. You will surpass any goals that you've set out for yourself. So shoot for the stars. They just told me that. Shoot for the stars, Scorpio, because... There's a saying, uh, shoot for the stars, and even if you miss, you'll still land among the moon. I think I completely butchered that, but you get my point, Scorpio. It is about you shooting high, aiming high. Don't settle for less because you are evolving, and with that becomes, uh, you know, new financial responsibilities as well. And it's up to you to heal any relationship that you have around negative limiting beliefs or your own uh, financial insecurities because you are meant to thrive. Spirit wants the best for you. What are you telling yourself? Collaboration. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work here. Now the Three of Pentacles showing up is about cooperation and collaboration, which we just talked about. And this kind of clarifies what you're manifesting as well. Now some of you may be playing many different roles and uh, in your company or in your business. Some of you may be executive assistants or you may be the glue that holds everything together or you may be very resourceful, very abundant within your business. Uh, now some of you, you may be doing 10 different things in your business, whether you're the marketer, you're the, the person that uh, is the face of the company, and then behind the scenes, you're the accountant, and then over here, you're doing something as well. So others of you have many, a couple of different sources of income coming in, but this Three of Pentacles is about creating a, a life with the people and with a spirit that can help you thrive and excuse me, thrive and grow. But there is collaboration coming in here and that's what you want. You want to collaborate. You want to connect with partners or with companies that see your skills and talents for what they are. You don't want to be overlooked. I mean, no one wants to be overlooked. Nobody wants to feel rejected or abandoned or feel like they are less than. You absolutely are not Scorpio. And I feel like you will collaborate with the right people, the right company, the right energy that's going to bring about higher success for you, especially with the nugget and the coins coming in. I mean, it, this looks very fruitful, very abundant for you. Let's see what is showing up in your environment. You're getting the same cards here, the same numbers as well. You have the seven of wands. 
This is that energy we, we spoke of earlier about standing up for yourself, your beliefs, not feeling pressured, not feeling stuck in that corner, not feeling like you're walking on eggshells or like somebody is breathing over your shoulder, wondering what kind of job you're doing or if your work's getting done here. This is about flexibility as well. It is about you being able to stand up for yourself, your beliefs. You're that warrior energy and you're living life on your terms. You have the upper hand and you're non-conforming to what society or what the government or what whoever thinks you should and should not do. This is about you choosing what's right because it's coming from a place of heart. And when it comes from that place of heart and emotion, you cannot go wrong. This is something that really makes you happy. And I feel like you're moving in that direction. If you haven't already started, you have that Ace of Swords. That may be what that breakthrough moment is all about for you. All right. Some of you are definitely overcoming some drama that may have occurred or happened within a client relationship or within a workplace. And I feel like you're growing from it as well. You're you're setting healthier boundaries. Let's take a look and see what this is all about. Yeah, you have the two of inspiration, two of wands. So now it allows you to kind of plan, plan your future, set new goals, create a vision board, uh, take a look at your five-year goal, your 10-year goal, and take action because you can see here in this two of inspiration that they have that telescope and they're looking out there. What are they doing? They're shooting for the stars. Beautiful. I love this. Knight of Materials. This is about slow but yet steady wins the race. Just because something isn't happening as quick as you would like, Scorpio, doesn't mean uh, you should give up, give up on it. It doesn't mean that it's never going to happen because the, the Knight of Pentacles is very dependable energy, very trustworthy. Uh, it is about being very detail-oriented, very resourceful, but making sure that things get done right. And that's what you're doing here. Lastly, seven of materials again here to clarify this energy. That's that seven of pentacles showing up again where you're evaluating what's working, what's not. What can you do right now that's going to affect you in 10 years? What can you release that's not working? Where can you cut uh, corners or cut budgets on things that maybe you could use less of? Where can you put that money towards things that you really do need to grow in advance? All right, let's take a look at your hopes and fears. What do we have here for hopes and fears? Yeah, you hope to move forward. I see that happening for you. And because it's not, your fear is, what if this never happens? What if I stay stuck? What if I don't get that job I want, that promotion, that career? What if my business doesn't grow? Remember what I said earlier. Don't let the what ifs, the should haves, when, what, will, how. Don't let all of those questions stir you, uh, your mind crazy where you overanalyze, overthink. And then actually what that does is it stalls you. It freezes you. It doesn't allow that energy in that room to grow, expand, and breathe in order for new money or new success or wealth to come in. This chariot energy is a uh, forward movement. This is about your drive, your ambition. And some of you feel like you've lost the energy to fully move forward, but she's being divinely guided by these beautiful horses, the black and the white. So again, taking a look at what's not working and what is. I feel like we all have these fears from time to time, but the important thing for you, Scorpio, is not to sit in it. Don't sit in it for too long where you start to really Again, overanalyze, overthink, or drive yourself to the point of extreme worry or anxiety because that's what the Six of Cups is all about. Looking back at things, it can be about nostalgia, but the message here for you is to move forward. Uh, embrace what can be, not what could have been. Some of you, it's about revisiting what you wanted to do since childhood. It could be a childhood dream that you've always wanted, but you never thought possible because maybe the people around you told you you could never do that. Or maybe no, you felt no one believed in you. Or maybe your teacher said, no, you could never be a brain surgeon. Uh, that's just not like you. You you pass with you know C's and D's. And I feel like you're letting go of that belief, that mental story. And you're saying, you know what? I can be a brain surgeon if I want. I can go back to school at 72 years old. Uh, you know, I can get my GED or I can do this. So instead of telling yourself, I can't, erase that from your vocabulary, Scorpio, and start telling yourself, I can. Okay, beautiful. Let's take a look at your final outcome. What is your final outcome for the month of October? What do we have for October? 
All right, you have two car three cards that just came out. I don't even think we need a clarifier, but let's find out what's happening here. Oh my gosh, wow. Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles. One of my absolute favorites, along with that Six of Wands in the Minor Arcana, because the Nine of Wands is about creating a life that you love, creating a life that you are proud of. And it doesn't matter if... Uh, a, B, and C is proud of you, even though they are. A all the way to Z is very proud, even if you can't see that or feel that. This is about you being proud of your success. And some of you, uh, you may have to kind of veer off on a path of individual success, even though you can work in that team energy here, or you may need other people to come in and help with resources or help with teaching or help with knowledge. It is about you being able to step, take the steps individually needed and required to grow. When the Nine of Pentacles shows up, this is about stability, security, self-sufficiency. It is about your hard work paying off and you're finally able to really stand on your own two feet and not be dependent upon anyone, but you're quite independent and you're really close to achieving uh, if not already, the kind of stability that you want for yourself. Because remember, you do have the money coming in, but what is gonna get you to this place? Heeding the call, the call of your soul's purpose, your calling. Uh, this is the judgment card, changing your life for the better. There's a major awakening happening within, within your soul. And I feel like it's a second chance. The universe is giving you a do-over, a fresh start to really start from a, a place of love, a place of forgiveness as well. And you're, you're going through that rebirth, that death energy that showed up. Don't ignore the calling to do something different here. Don't judge yourself. Heal any of those past wounds around money or lack of, lack of mentality. And also, the messenger of water is the knight of cups. So this is about you chasing your bliss, Scorpio. What brings your heart happiness? What makes you smile when you think about it? Is it working with children for some of you? Is it... Uh, you know, moving to a new place and traveling, photography. Uh, is it being able to help people on a one-on-one -on -one coaching level? Is it about being in front of the camera and teaching people about things that you're passionate about? Whatever this is, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. Some of you could be collecting gemstones or rocks. It could be, uh, I, I feel like, is it called paleontologist? I feel like some of you are able to do anything you set your heart to and you will be a success at it here. I feel like you have the resources, you have the abundance, you have the universe opening up this new opportunity to give you a second chance, whatever that means for you. Beautiful. I love this. What a powerful reading, Scorpio. What you're doing now is you're opening up that heart and you're saying yes, where maybe on that subconscious level in the past, you haven't always been open to it, even though we want to feel like we are open, but we may not realize that limiting beliefs from childhood or it could have even been one time that teacher said something negative and it stayed with you for all of these years. And that may have been something that you didn't even really uh, realize that you were hanging on to. So you're taking a look and reevaluating all, all that you've done and how far you have come up until this point in your life. Now, Scorpio, we're going to get a card from the Wisdom of the Oracle, and I will read to you the prosperity message from the guidebook. And for those of you that uh, are interested in any of the decks that you see used during your reading or any above, you can find all of that information in the description box below. There's card 17. That's the star card. Literally shooting for the stars. And you can see the stars showing up here. And also this is about the fates. This is about divine intervention, which you have showing up here for you. So I'm just going to read to you the prosperity message from the guidebook. And this is about fate. It's about karma, acceptance that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. And your prosperity message is this. Your experiences concerning prosperity and abundance are beyond your personal control right now. You are being invited to accept what is 
unreservedly. This could be a temporary situation seemingly thrust upon you by outside forces, but there is an underlying purpose you can't see that has been determined by the fates. It could be a situation you are unprepared for and you may not understand how it will benefit you in the moment, but do not fight the situation. Ride it out and see where it leads. Surrender to it and the serenity you need to make good choices from the heart and from here on out will be given to you. You will indeed, Scorpio, you will indeed flourish. Absolutely. I feel like you will flourish. Uh, this is about you, again, reaching for the stars. And even though some things happen in your finances, remember earlier we were talking about things happening outside of our control, whether in the, you know, economically or financially with what's going on in the world. And yes, sometimes we can't control those things, but we can control our response and our actions to them. You can still shoot for the stars instead of cutting all those stars short and giving yourself only a piece or a glimmer of hope. I feel like you're riding out the situation at this time, but I still see a lot of abundance coming in. You're going to reach that stage here of that nine of pentacles where you are feeling that wealth, you're feeling that safety, you're feeling security. And even though things may seem unstable at this time, you are attracting and calling in stability. All right. So we're just going to go with one soul truth card here. Our, uh, actually, they're telling me the two. Okay. We're going to go with both of these. Uh, and it says here, this is for you to really ask yourself to make sure you are aligning with that energy of abundance, with the energy of finances. What am I looking for outside myself that is already with me? That's the one I'm gonna read uh, the back of here, but also make sure that a lot of you are infusing self-love and compassion into your life. Make sure you know without a doubt that you're worthy. Set those boundaries, meditate and listen to your heart. Focus on your strengths, let go of what you cannot control. Ask for help, allow it. Be grateful, keep a gratitude journal if you can, and let go again of the things that no longer serve you. And then uh, what am I looking for outside myself? And that's kind of what that energy is all about with the fates. Are you looking for more, Scorpio? More guidance, more confidence, more peace, wisdom, or something else? Maybe money, finances, career. When we search outside ourselves, we can become overwhelmed, frustrated, and never feel quite good enough. It's time to go inward to find everything you seek. All the answers you need lie within. Today's soul action, breathe in your favorite essential oil. Inhale deeply into your belly. Drop your shoulders and spend some time hanging out with your soul today. Ask for what you need and be ready for the answers. Absolutely, this is about you being ready. This is about you going inward to manifest outwardly here. And I feel like you have been doing that with the seven of pentacles. Uh, and I feel like you'll continue to do so throughout the rest of 2022. But I feel that 2023 for you, especially, I feel like the investments you're making are going to bring in about more wealth, more abundance. All right, let's get a few messages, Scorpio, from your animal guides. And at this time, I just ask if you can close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in from that solar plexus chakra, the belly area. And I want you to tune into that third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows. And imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this can be an animal that flies high in the sky it could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps it's an animal that is wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. Perhaps you've recently had a run with this animal in the great outdoors. It's crossed your path while you were driving. Or perhaps it's an animal that's crossed over the rainbow bridge. There is no right or wrong answer, Scorpio. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, 
All you need to do, Scorpio, is drop your power animal in the comment box below, and I will personally enter you into that free monthly reading giveaway. So please make sure you've hit that subscribe and bell button so you get notified when that post comes out. All right, let's get to your messages here. Some of you had some winged creatures on your mind, and let's see if if you are falling in that category here, again, even if your power animal does not match, doesn't mean that it's not your message. Uh, it's just for you to kind of tune in and see what your totem is at this time. So right away we have crow, crow spirit. This is about co-creating with spirit. This could be about that energy of soul contracts as well, partnerships. You being able to work with the universe as your ally instead of feeling like you are alone on your venture and this is also card 17 here the star card so co-create with the crow next we have parrot spirit watch your words this is about self-talk it is about taking a look at what you are saying to yourself throughout the day i feel like this is about you making sure instead of saying things like i don't have or i can't make sure you say i am abundant i am a manifester of money uh, I can, I have enough. Make sure you are reprogramming those limiting beliefs or those negative words into positivity because that'll help you attract money more quickly. Next we have Dove. This I feel like is Spirit's way of saying you don't have to feel the chaos of what's going on around you. Be at peace, go inward. It's also card 21, which is the world card. That's about victory, about celebrations, and about an, a cycle completing, especially because you have two aces. You also have the fresh start with the nugget. So I feel like peaceful times are coming in for you, Scorpio. But at this time, Flamingo Spirit says embrace the in-between. You're going through that in-between at this time. Uh, six and two equals eight, and that's the strength card. So you are stronger than you think. You can embrace this in-between at this time because just as, as, just as with that death energy of that transition, it's like that cocoon coming out uh, of the, the chrysalis and you're able to spread your wings. Again, wings showing up here and you're able to fly. Next here, you have Elephant Spirit. Learn from the past. That's what you're doing. We've talked about that. You're evaluating, learning what's worked for you, what has not, and you're not repeating the same cycle, the same lessons. And lastly, Buffalo Spirit, card 10, which is the Wheel of Fortune, says the abundant universe will provide. So if you are stressed out about your money, your finances, or your abundance, Please trust and know that the universe is working on your behalf at this time to create more abundance in your life. But remember, you must co-create with spirit. It's hard for spirit to do uh, the work if you don't do the work as well. Remember, you're a partnership in this, uh, in this chapter of your life, well, in life in general. So it's hard to be or do one without the other. So remember to align by watching your words, uh, by knowing that you're not doing this alone and that the universe will provide as long as the universe is your ally so very powerful messages here last but not least scorpio we're going to get a message from the crystal spirits another one of my favorite decks colette bear and reed and we're going to see which gemstone crystal or rock you can use in the month of october that can help you align with that energy of abundance and ooh, one of my favorite grounding stones we have obsidian obsidian if you have this crystal you can certainly use this to kind of ground your energy back into reality but i feel like this is also a really good one for seeing the truth seeing the truth of what it is that you want uh, to manifest into your life but it's also about being able to observe it's observing the self self-reflection knowing what it is that truly makes your heart happy. So if those of you are seeking for that emotional wealth, you can use obsidian as well. Now the prosperity message is this. Do you know your patterns? Do you know where your money and your efforts go? Or is it all a big mystery at the end of the month? Obsidian Spirit's gentle message for you is to stop being afraid of looking at your relationship with money, for you have a serious tendency to underestimate your ability to manage the flow of abundance in your life. To experience the prosperity you deserve, answer the call to heal your old fear-based habits. 
fearful frugality, and gee, I hope they love me now, generosity will not serve you on your healing journey. Any discomfort you have in looking at your relationship to finances is simply part of a necessary transition to accepting yourself as you are today, right now, in this moment. And you must accept yourself as you are for healing to take place. Self-awareness is always a good thing and it will lead you to feeling comfortable and confident in growing your abundance, growing your money, growing your finances, growing your business, Scorpio. But sometimes we need to heal that pattern, that relationship that we have with money or with our own self-worth, our own abundance. Do take a look at that solar plexus chakra this month and make sure that you feel worthy of the good blessings and the generosity and the wealth. I've had a few people uh, comment, not often, for the majority, 98% I feel of you that are tuned into the energy of the Intuitive Soul Coach Tribe are very positive, very uplifting, but sometimes you get a few of them that say, well, how can things be so good when we're going through an economic downfall or an economic crisis or I've lost everything and I'll never find abundance and I'll never find uh, my growth or I'll never amount to anything. Well, if that's what you believe, then that's what you're manifesting in your world. And I believe in you and you have more than enough help in the spiritual realm uh, for some of you if you're lucky enough in the physical plane as well and obsidian can help you kind of cut through those uh, those challenges and those barriers and I see that happening for you anyway with this ace of swords energy you're cutting through barriers there's breakthrough moments coming in for you in the month of October so do embrace Scorpio because you have what it takes not just to go a little bit but to go far reach for the stars because you may just be surprised when you pull one down I hope that resonates with you Scorpio if so please feel free to hit that thumbs up button Feel free to share, subscribe, uh, comment your power animal in the box below and hit that notification button and I am sending all of you Scorpios tons of love and light. Thanks so much for tuning in.